7.30 in the morning and I have such a busy and exciting day today so I can't wait to take you guys along. But first things first, I have a workout class that I need to leave for at 8 o'clock so let's quickly get ready. I am so sleepy right now. <sighs> but it doesn't matter because when I tell you I slept with the curtains open and it was the best decision I ever made because when I opened my eyes, all I could see was sun and bright blue skies. The camera doesn't even do it justice, but this makes me so happy. I, of course, laid out my gym set the night before to be super intentional about my day. I think I'm gonna wear this cream set today. I think the most flattering, look at the back detail. I love the waistband as well, super cute. And nothing will get me to the gym like a cute outfit. I really don't want to run late, so let's just leave now, get the workout class done, and then while I'm getting ready for my day of plans, I'll tell you properly what we're about to do today. And what a gorgeous day. I'm in such a good mood. I'm so proud of myself for just getting out of bed early and going. And now I feel so energized and so awake. And because I'm in such a good mood, I just want to amplify that. So I have to go get myself a little post-workout treat, which I don't always do, but I want to sip on a cute little matcha while I do my glam for my day today. So let's head to Black Street. Oh, I just am freshly showered and now it's time to get glam. I feel like I just have so much to update you guys on, but let's start with the plan for the day. It's currently 9.30 in the morning. We've done the gym. We've done the morning routine. I've got uh, my cute little drink to just romanticize my morning and make it that much more enjoyable. After I do my glam, even though this is a very tight timing schedule I've set for myself, hopefully I'll be able to film a video this morning as well, which is for my vlog channel. I think I'm gonna do a chatty Q&A because it's been a while and I just absolutely love doing them. The last time you guys absolutely loved it and it just, it allows you guys to get to know me better and I love that. So film the video and then immediately leave the flat because I'm meeting a new friend today guys! You guys know what my intentions have been since moving to London. I've spoken about it in previous vlogs and I'm holding myself accountable and I'm getting the damn thing done. I have indeed shot my shot with this really cool creator in London who I randomly found when I was reading a magazine, you guys. And now we're meeting each other today and I'm so excited. And while I was showering just now, I was thinking about the fact that I'm so excited and just so ready for this and it reminded me that like I have been doing stuff like this for a long time like turning up to events by myself meeting new people putting myself in in scary environments for a girl who used to be very socially awkward and even though I would force myself into those environments I'd always feel very nervous before like I'd have butterflies in my stomach I literally would feel like I would vomit and on the way there I would be so scared I'd actually want to turn back around and leave of course I never did that but today I'm feeling this overwhelming sense of just excitement and readiness and it made me realize of course why wouldn't I feel that way? I have now put myself in this environment so many times over, there's literally no space to be scared or nervous anymore. I've done it, I've like numbed the fear through continuously exposing myself to my original fear of meeting new people. So that I'm very excited for. We're just gonna go for a nice little coffee date. And then because I'm gonna be in another area of London, which is quite far from where I live, I thought, why not take myself on a solo date and explore for a bit? So I am gonna be quite spontaneous with that, however, However, I got a bit of a spontaneous idea literally not even 24 hours ago and I'm going to action it today. Oh, before I tell you what it is, I'm just finishing up my foundation. I recently repurchased the Giorgio Armani foundation. Fave ever. Last night, while I was eating my dinner, I decided I want to get some more piercings in my ear. And I realized there's a piercing place near where I'm going today to meet my new friend. Um, so F it, I'm just gonna go. And honestly, normally with things like this, like getting a piercing or something like that that's gonna hurt, I would not go by myself. That is not a solo date idea to me. I need somebody to hold my hand through that. 
But one of my other updates is Boyf is not here. He hasn't been here for the last day and he won't be home for another two days. Um, so it looks like I'm doing it by myself. But you know what? I'm a big girl and I'm really excited about this change. I just love experimenting with my appearance. It's just my favorite thing in the world. And I feel like it's been a while since I did something like that. And it's honestly made me even more excited for the day because how often do I just do random stuff like that? I feel like my days are so routinely scheduled and planned out and it's like let me just do something different so we're gonna do that we're gonna explore who knows what else i'll get up to in that area on the solo day i'm just leaving it open to see what i can find and then afterwards i'm gonna head back to the apartment and try and get some work done maybe do like one or two work blocks because i do still have a lot of stuff to be done and then after that at 5 p.m i'm gonna go to the cinema for a solo date um because i've recently been reminded that going to the cinema used to be my favorite go-to solo date especially when i was living alone in birmingham i loved it and i've really fallen in love with it again but i'm going to watch it ends with us and i've been seeing all of the controversy around it on tiktok and how everyone's hating on it i have friends who have seen it and even they told me it was so underwhelming um but i'm just so intrigued by it i have to go and watch it and another fun fact is I've never read a Colleen Hoover book because you guys know I'm just not a fiction reader. I always like to read my self-help books. Um, but because everyone's been talking about it, I literally went to Waterstones the other day, bought the book. I've been reading it in bed every night. Um, I'm only a few chapters deep. And weirdly, like, I like it in a way. I even posted it on my Snapchat story and you guys were like, Tam, don't read that book. Tam, you're gonna hate that book. Tam, you're gonna hate Lily. Like, don't, you need to put that book down. So yeah, just gonna relax and wind down and spend some quality time with myself this evening and show you guys how I do it. I recently bought this palette. I'm obsessed. So whenever I wear eyeshadow, it's always neutral matte tones but they're always warm tones. And I realized that recently and I thought I don't have any cool toned eyeshadows and I feel like maybe that would flatter my skin tone better. So this is actually my first time using this palette. I'm in love with it. This mirror is incredible. And Morphe eyeshadow is always the best. I ordered this online. It's the 18 CT Matte Essentials. <laughs> Okay, I just finished my glam. It's very different, but I'm here for it. Um, I'm loving the cool tone eyeshadow. I probably should have gone in with a lighter hand. Maybe it's a little bit dramatic, but not bad for a first attempt, honestly. But yeah, super cute. Now all I have to do is my hair and I have to leave in 45 minutes. So I have to do my hair, put my outfit on and film a whole video during that process and make sure I vlog. In 45 minutes am i gonna do it i don't have to vlog i actually don't like i this is me working really in advance but i'm excited to vlog but then it's really gonna stress me out and i'm not gonna be able to leave on time i just i've already been here before i know what it's gonna be like i'm gonna try and fit the video in and then i'm gonna be rushing to be late and i don't i don't want to end up being late and then i'm gonna be stressed and then my heart's gonna be beating really fast and i'm gonna be running out of the apartment and i'm already having such a good day i'm not going to do that to myself when i don't need to so instead i'm gonna do my hair and listen to some music and just get ready slowly. So I use this as an opportunity to just chat with you guys more. So for my hair, I'm also trying something different today, guys. So I recently bought this Beauty Works Mermaid Waver Kit and I'm really excited. I never do my hair like this. I have been watching a few tutorials, so hopefully I get this right. <laughs> Okay, glam is done and hair is done. And this is so different for me. I don't know if it's gonna be a new go-to. Maybe it has to grow on me um, or who knows, maybe I need more practice at it because this was my first time doing this. But it's cute. I love that we're doing something different today. Now all I have to do is quickly grab my outfit because I literally have to leave in three minutes. Luckily, I already had a rough idea of the outfit I wanna wear. I realized I have this dress that I've literally only worn once and I just wore it by itself. It's a really nice sunny day today. So I thought I'm gonna use this piece and then just style around it. That's how I create all of my outfits. I'm thinking to maybe just wear a little t-shirt under it and just style it up with jewelry. This is a fit, it needs a belt. It's not the worst, but I'm trying too many new things all at once today that I just, I can't get behind this. So we need to change again. 
I bought this new leather bodysuit the other day. It's from Menier de Bois and I'm in love with it. So I'm gonna wear this because I feel like it fits I fit my vibe a little bit better today. Okay, now this is the finished look. I am way happy with this. This is more me. The leather bodysuit is so cool. Um, and then I paired it with these long shorts from Pretty Little Thing. And then I'm just gonna put um, some black kitten heels with it. I'm wearing my new favorite perfume. I've actually forgotten the brand, so I'll put it on the screen, but love this. I'm finishing it off with my absolute new fave bag. I picked this up in Italy. How cute is she? And now let's go on a day out to London. I arrived in Kensington, I'm literally one minute away from the place. We're going to the Hummingbird Bakery and I forgot how beautiful this area is. So we walked to the Nappy Shop. And you had the drinks ready. Oh, thank you. Thank you so Enjoy. much. I, I basically. I know, it's so good in the street. I went, I had a workout class this morning. And you're and I'm no, like, no, but no. you would have. I realized I need time to sit and think and do nothing so yeah. I can think about the next steps because you have I'm to so be the creator. Just finished the little coffee date. It's currently 1.30. It went so amazing, honestly. Just met each other, but ended up having such deep chats, which I think is always such a great sign. Um, no, it was absolutely amazing. We like, literally couldn't stop talking. Um, we're speaking a lot about like content creator life, but also just getting to know each other on a very deep level, I would say. And now I am just doing a 10 minute walk to Astrid and Mew because I think that's where I'm gonna get my piercings done. And I'm literally so excited that it has to be the next thing I do in my day. So um, I have found a different one. I'm gonna go to Notting Hill and my appointment's in an hour and a half, which means I can do my solo date first. I'm on the hunt for a little restaurant to have a lunch date at. I decided to go to Sticks and Sushi for my solo lunch date because I just love the food there. The vibe of this restaurant was really nice. I'd never been to this brunch before, but yeah, I ordered my food. These ebikatsu bites were so delicious. And my goal with these solo dates really is to just really take it slow, be present, spend quality time with myself, is it a little bit boring and slow because you're not on your phone? Sure, but in a lifestyle where I'm so rush, rush, rush all the time, it's such a nice break. All of my food has come now and it looks so good. This I haven't tried before, it's the Wagyu Bites. Very fancy. This, however, is one of my favorites. It's the beef tataki. So good. Okay, taste test. I think that's my new favorite thing on the sticks and sushi menu. Because I say a lot of the time not to bring a device with you when you're on a solo date because I think it goes against the point of taking yourself on a date and spending quality time with yourself. I get a lot of questions as to what you're actually supposed to do on a solo date. And honestly, my favorite thing is just the fact that you're going to be more present with your thoughts than ever before. On this solo date in particular, I kept noticing a few little worries that were popping up in my brain that I wasn't even fully aware was there. But it took this silence and slowness to notice that so that I could start questioning myself where is this coming from what is the root cause of this and I'm very very grateful to be able to take that moment of presence I just came to the bathroom to freshen up and this has got to be the best restaurant bathroom I've ever been to just because of the huge window it's gorgeous and I am so easily impressed but I'm about to head out and explore now I've just had a really long walk throughout Kensington and I'm just exploring these streets and these cute little shops and it's so nice. I really needed to walk off all of that food. It did not look like a lot, but guys, it finished me. Um, and yeah, and now I'm just literally exploring and gallivanting. Normally, I don't have time to do this on solo day. It's like I plan out an itinerary 
to the de every detail. But since I'm a new Londoner, I thought I actually need to give myself the time to just explore and walk around and see what I come across because that in itself is so much fun. appointment am I okay to go straight down yeah. thank you finally at my piercing appointment I'm just gonna look at some jewelry but I low key already know what I want like I can't like the goal is to have a really cute ear like that with all the little piercings I'm obsessed it's not even a big deal I don't know why I'm making it a big deal but this is just very unlike me so cute have you had a full day today yeah, it's been pretty busy, which is fine. Oh, nice. I was imagine thinking when I was walking around, I was like, imagine they take it out. So we're doing second lobe. No, so I have my second. Okay. I want to do third. Oh, do you think it would fit? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And okay. um, which side do you want to put the helix here? Helix there. Um, I actually got my nose pierced a while ago. I took it out. It was just a, a little ear rug I was going through. <laughs> so start with cartilage. All right, then. Okay. Just because even if you get too low, the second one, I'll, like, you're just a bit yeah. off. piss on the deep breath, okay? Oh, my God, okay. Yeah. You got this. <laughs> that would be a little bit more tilt, so that's fine. That's perfect. And then, are we ready? Mm -hmm. So, just nice deep breath in for me. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. You've done it. Oh, my God. We're just going to get the jewellery in. Yeah, that's a Oh, my God, the jewellery's in. Ah! So, it's going to feel like a little bit of pressure. Yeah. Nice deep breath in and out. There we go. Oh, beautiful. It's so nice though. You do just feel like branded. You do. You're yeah. Like, I love it. I love it. Mm. Yeah. Also, well, so if you want to have a little sit for a second, have a little sit. But if not, have a look in the mirror. Oh my god, so cute. They are really. The little hearts just hang oh. so nicely. I'm so glad I picked that. Yeah. And the placement of the helix is really good as well. It does. It's yeah. really nicely. Oh, thank you. You killed no, it. You're so welcome. It's amazing. You did great too. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Just walked out and I am a very, very brave girl, you guys. And that was so good, but it was long and it did hurt in the moment. But I am so satisfied. Also, that lady, amazing. She was so nice, made me feel so comfortable. That was Astrid and me in Notting Hill. So I do recommend, however, Obviously, you have to buy jewelry there for your piercing. It's so expensive. Like, my pockets are hanging a little bit. Oh, how gorgeous is that? And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram because I'll be posting all the pictures there of my completed little ear stack. I'm just going to go to my regular local cinema near our apartment. And because the Astrid and Mew in Kensington had no availability and I've had to travel out to Notting Hill to get it done here, I realised, why don't I go to the cinema here? They have the electric cinema which is such a famous cinema in london it's so cool it has such like a retro vibe the whole there. decor and everything is, is so cool and i've always wanted to go it's actually been on my bucket list so the date actually worked out perfectly I'm trying out a new thing by myself great solo date and until then i'm gonna gallivant around here because the weather's amazing i'm gonna go get a little latte um and you know it's not a hill so even if i literally get up to nothing the scenery is so beautiful um so let's go explore yeah. and then, yeah, we're done. I'm really starting to understand why everyone says Notting Hill is their favourite neighbourhood in London. It's so peaceful here and I've been a few times but it's always been with the boyfriend or on a little girl's day out. I've never been for a solo date. It's the perfect place like very rarely do I walk around without headphones and listening to music because that just helps me romanticise the day but I literally have no need to. It's so quiet, the scenery is gorgeous. I'm severely dehydrated, so I want to go get a little iced drink. Um, and I refuse to go to Blank Street because both times I've been to Notting Hill, I've gone there. And today is the day of trying something new because I'm on a solo date. So I'm going to this place called Farm Girl because loads of people talk about it. Apparently it's one of London's most, most Instagrammable spots and I will be the judge of that. So here we are. Ooh, okay, I was not expecting this. 
So Farm Girl was so cute. It was definitely really small, but I recommend sitting outside. And this golden latte was insane. It's definitely always a hit and miss at loads of restaurants because it's my go-to order. But this one, I slurped it all up in literally two seconds. And I just sat there. It was super peaceful. Definitely a unique vibe. So I recommend. Um, and now I have like 30, 40 minutes. So I'm going to go to Portobello Road Market because you have to. Last time I was there, I saw the most beautiful fur coat and every single day I'm so sad I never got it. So who knows what goodies we're going to find. <laughs> I'm in the Uber now on the way to Electric Cinema, which I'm so excited for. That is going to be like my last part of my little day out before we do cute things at home. Um, but I had such a great day. I was actually just like walking around, just had some time without my camera, was walking in and out of shops and stuff. But honestly, one thing that has happened so much today is strangers just being really nice to me, like stopping me to compliment my outfit or say something nice. And because like over the last few months, any solo day I do is like a quick one, like a little quick lunch or you know like something that lasts an hour or two i haven't done a full day like this probably since i moved to london and it's just made me forget that one of the really nice things about when you go out is strangers are more likely to talk to you and they feel more comfortable in doing so and you, you tend to have really nice stranger interactions however although that's so positive and so nice i did have one little bad moment on today's solo day um and Obviously all of these things happened when I wasn't filming because I think whenever I film, people would never approach me. When I was trying to find where to eat for lunch and I ended up going to Sticks and Sushi. So I was just standing on the street on my phone on my maps, like figuring out where to go. And this like man came over and just kept talking to me and he was like trying to get me to go somewhere with him. It was definitely the creepiest interaction that I have had with some strange man talking to me on the street. And then he was like, talking to me he was just talking to me about some really strange things um so i literally just immediately walked away and it was very uncomfortable and after that happened it made me remember like oh this is what happens when you spend the whole day out alone um so yeah but don't let that scare you i just wanted to give you guys the reality that sometimes that does happen and that's why it's so important to have solo dates in the day and in busy areas and to make sure people know where you are and especially to have an itinerary whenever i have an itinerary for a solo date day which i always do stuff like that is very very rare to happen because you're so like in and out of everywhere when you're kind of standing around on your phone trying to figure out where to go it is a little bit more risky that's in the past it's over i've actually had more positive interactions than ever today so i'm gonna focus on that instead and i'm gonna go watch the movie which got by the way guys i'm so excited to watch how i'm gonna feel when i step out and i've seen the whole film i guess we'll see um yeah It's eight o'clock and I just came out of the cinema and I finished watching the film and I actually need like three to five business days to process that. I, I actually can't speak. I'm waiting for my Uber right now and it's an hour drive until I get home. So I'm actually going to think and process what I just watched because it was really intense. It made me tense up a lot and I actually feel quite sad. So, I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. <sighs> Where to begin? Um, I'm definitely home later than I thought I would have been. I'm not gonna lie, watching it ends with us. All I have to say is I'm so glad I watched that at the end of my day because if I decided to go at like lunchtime or something, there was no chance I would have been able to have a normal solo day after that. It was just really, really heavy for me. But let's do an actual review of it. So first of all, I think the acting was really, really good. I love Blake Lively from obviously watching Gossip Girl, but I thought she did such a good job in this. Um, Justin as Ryle was exactly what I imagined when I started reading the book anyway. So he did a really good job. I know a lot of the bad reviews are that it doesn't do the book justice or that it was really underwhelming comparing, compared to the book. I don't have much to say about that because I'm literally, I'm on chapter eight of the book and there are 35 chapters. Like nothing bad has even happened in the book yet. Um, so my, my review isn't entirely, you know, 
proper. The reason that it affected me so much is I just felt so triggered. I was so tense as well. Like at some points, I was sat in my seat and I was literally so low in my seat and I could feel myself like doing this. Um, so it didn't affect me in the, the best way. And I know that this wasn't gonna be a romance film. I knew exactly what it was about, but I am so good at watching horror films, thrillers, disturbing films, films that talk about sensitive topics. Like I've watched so many films like that and I'm fine. I'm normally not phased by stuff like that. But this one really got to me, really triggered experiences I've had in my own life. Um, but that's why I think the film was so well done because I think they portrayed it in a really accurate way. I personally found the film relatable from, you know, a toxic relationship standpoint, how they argued, how they made up, why Lily wants to stay in a situation that's bad for her. So yeah, and I thought Blake Lively's acting in certain situations was really really spot on but yeah anyways i had plans to obviously come back this evening i was gonna have a bath a little solo date vibe um but i'm just my head is just in a totally different place that i can't really muster up the energy to do that it's also later than i expected so instead my new plan is I'm gonna get ready for bed right now and I'm gonna just sit in bed and read until I fall asleep and just get a super early night because God knows I need the sleep. And I just think my mind and my en emotional energy as well really needs that. I felt emotional when I got in the Uber and I just let myself zone out and stare out the window for the whole hour. And it has, it has calmed me down since actually stepping out of the movie theater. I feel better since then, but I don't feel normal and I know I will be when I wake up. So I just want to give myself that space and that breather. It doesn't feel right to continue vlogging because I'm definitely not in the right headspace for it. But moving on to everything else happened today. I'm so proud that I shot my shot and I, you know, got myself in a new friend date today. I was thinking about that today as well and I realized I'm finally living as the woman that I've always wanted to be because Although I've been putting myself in uncomfortable situations and situations that scare me for a while now, it's always been accompanied with nerves and butterflies and being like, oh my God, do I belong here? And I should I do this? Today was the first time ever that I put myself in one of those uncomfortable situations and I felt so confident throughout. I felt so assured and so secure of myself. And after it, I was like, I'm finally the girl the ideal version of myself that I always pictured. And it's, and it's been a journey. Like I, I slowly had to get here and I slowly had to overcome my fears and do it more and more until I numb the fear. So that is such a huge win for today. Finally ticking off electric cinema off my bucket list. Amazing, it was such a vibe. I had a nice solo lunch day and also I did no work today. Apart from vlogging, nothing. And I really thought I would. And I was supposed to obviously create another video today. I'm kind of glad that the day worked out in the way it did. I think the universe was trying to force me to just have a complete day off um, just to myself, which was nice. But I am going to wrap up the vlog here, you guys, and get ready for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please comment down below and let me know what you thought of it. If you've watched It Ends With Us, then comment down below and let me know what you thought as well. And I'll see you guys at the same time next week on Sunday for a brand new vlog. I appreciate you and thank you for watching up to here. I absolutely love creating vlogs and I love that you guys love them too. So many more coming your way. Bye.